50 grams all the way to 257. Usually it's going to be less than that, so I'd probably say no, but in some cases like our system um, Q hybrids that have the, um, the, the screws, um, those are light heads, but let's say you wanted to um, add a couple 12 gram weights instead of two of the 6 gram weights. In that case, because it, it's going to be enough of a difference, there you would want to tip trim uh, based on the weight of the head, but also you're going to make the adjustment for the length of the club as well. hope that makes sense. Yes, it does. Uh, Dave asks, if you don't build a set to frequency slope, what is there? Every manufacturer seems to have a different frequency for their shaft flex. Why is there no industry standard for flex? Uh, that, that's to give some diversity. Um, again, if they were all the same um, frequency, um, the, the only thing that you'd be really uh, fitting for is weight and possibly stiffness distribution that might affect the launch angle slightly, but uh, sometimes the flex of the shaft is what creates the different ball flights as well. So I'm actually, it's kind of refreshing that there's no industry standard, uh, and, and in the same token, it can be frustrating too when you, when you um, uh, don't have all the information ahead of time. That's why we published the dynamic uh, shaft fitting index, so you know ahead of time uh, where certain shafts are going to be stiffer than the norm, and there's going to be other ones that are going to be softer than the norm. All right, guys, that looks like a wrap. I'd like to thank everybody for attending. Once again, the uh, webinar will be posted on YouTube and on our blog in about one hour. So thanks again, everybody, and have a good day. Any, any other uh, uh, comments, Jeff? Well, uh, again, everybody, thanks for attending today. Great. Goodbye.